What's up, y'all? It's your boy A Dub with the fresh merch on. Go visit the shop, AlanAWade.com, and get yourself pick up some nice YouTube merch. Help support the channel, guys. And um, right now I'm on Amazon, about to um, pick up a few things to um, help the channel here. Um, I got a Photo DX of metal, what's called a step up ring. And I also have a neutral density filter, three neutral density filters actually, to go on these step up rings. As soon as I get these items in the mail, guys, I'm gonna make a video and show you guys what I'm doing with them. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Totaled uh, $76.78. About to make this purchase. Um, like I said, all stuff for the channel. I got one neutral density filter 64, neutral density filter 32, and a neutral density filter 16. So all of these are going to help my videos um, appear as crisp as they always are, guys. And if you guys wanna know how you can get your videos to look as crisp as mine, then make sure you subscribe and make sure you stay tuned. Keep you guys up to date, the charger is still out of commission, sitting in the back of the house. The insurance company for Penske still has not gotten back to me. So I'm um, still going to keep you guys up to date on that. I got to wait till Monday because it's the weekend. Wait till Monday and then I'll call them and give them the case numbers and I'll let you guys know what they say. Something tells me this is going to be a headache to get the charger fixed, but we are still working on that. I'm still driving my mom's car. Thank you, mom for being out of the country and let me drive your car so I don't have to drive around in my banged up Dodge Charger. Appreciate that a lot. Now today is gonna be a busy day, guys. Uh, later on, I have one of my boy's birthday parties to go to, my boy Phil's birthday party. He's uh, turning 40. Shouts out to you, Phil. Um, we ran track together since I was younger. Um, he ran for another school, ran for another club, but some occasionally his club and my club, um, track team, summer club teams, we would run um, and compete with each other as one team guys. So um, make sure you guys stay tuned for that Also, I have to go upstairs really fast and I got to make two shirts one for somebody at work one for myself Actually, so it's three shirts and another one for a girl who's um Having a birthday party for her daughter shouts out to Joe blocker Joe blocker shouts out to you appreciate your business So guys this morning Chanel and I went out to this delicious restaurant it's called uh, First Watch. It's located in uh, Chesterbrook in the King of Prussia area in Pennsylvania. New restaurant. Um, if you were ever in the King of Prussia area and you wanted to visit that restaurant, it's a very delicious restaurant. More on the healthier side types of food, but being as though it is a new restaurant, they are working out some kinks. The wait time was long. Um, after we got in, the wait for your food was long and uh, they were slow with the service, but they said they're working out some kinks because they are a new restaurant. But they had this one dish uh, called the Million Dollar Bacon, and I tried that Million Dollar Bacon. It wasn't a dish, just, just bacon. It's prepared a certain type of way, glazed. I'll show you guys a picture of it. Glazed with, uh, I don't know, it tastes like it had brown sugar on it or something, but it was just really, really good. The grits were average. The, um, I had the, uh, I had the Egg Benedict and the Egg Benedict was very, very good guys. So if you're ever in the area, try it first watch. Great restaurant, healthy food. So guys, once again, get your YouTube, uh, merchandise to, uh, support the channel at allenawade.com, Shopify store. Go grab some merch to support the channel right now. Also, don't forget to visit Clover Key shop.com to pick up some uh, clover key of your own guys all right guys so the first shirt we're going to make today is um amtrak shirt i'm going to make an amtrak shirt for my co-worker and we're also going to make probably two amtrak shirts for me because i need a few different um shirts that i wear at work for my uniform also the other shirt that we're going to make for my friend's uh daughter I'm gonna, I gotta give her a call in a second to see if she still wants it because I haven't heard from her and I'm not gonna make a shirt that's not already purchased because I just don't do that. So um, yeah, I got my reflective vinyl already laid out on my cutting mat. Next step is just uh, arrange it in the software Silhouette Studio the way I want it to be uh, cut out and 
he wants a small one on a uh, chest, left breast, I believe it goes on. So uh, I'm going to make a smaller one to be cut out on that left breast. So, uh, yeah. So once again, as always, I pretty much always measure out my shirt. I see right here that this design says it's going to be about a little short of nine and a half. And I think that's the size I've been making my Amtrak logo. So yeah, about nine and a half, a little bit smaller on a on the chest. That's about good. Uh, I should make it. I might make it a little bit bigger, maybe ten even. So yeah, let me make these logos pretty much ten even. Make it a little bit bigger. About right there is cool. And I see right here that it's uh, a little bit short of nine inches down for two and right here on my cutting mat i know i have it down to about 10 so i know that's going to be fine and i'm going to um, duplicate one of these duplicate and i'm going to make a small one for the breastplate because one's going to go on the back one's going to the front so i'm put one right here um, so that can be cut out also and yeah and i got enough vinyl on here to cut that one out. So that's gonna be cool right there. Um, yep. And got size of easy beat selected. They yeah, the same, same settings that I always do. I'm not gonna go too much in detail with this guy because you guys already know my settings. Reflective vinyl HTV. Hmm, I got a setting for that. Let me see. Five, four, 13. Let me see some. 7, 5, 17. Hmm. Mm. Now I'm just going to go size of easy to the regular settings for this. All right. And because this is pretty much like the, 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 the feel of this is pretty much the same as size of easy It's not thicker or anything. So I'm just going to send it. Um, so it's a cameo. Just that for you guys. Gotcha. You guys can see it's starting to cut. All right, so this is done cutting out. Um, let's see if you guys can see it. Unload. You guys see the design in there. Kind of see the shape a little bit. Right, cutting that. You guys can see everything right here. Well, I can see everything right here. Let me see if I can give you guys the angle. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and weed this, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see the weeding process. It's quite uh, enjoyable when you do this stuff. So let me show you guys a little bit of it. So first off, you get your cutting mat, right? Got your cutting mat. Lay down your reflective vinyl right here. You get and go in your drawer and you get your tools, uh, your weeding tool and your cutting tool. All right, and then you just start to weed. I like to try to show you guys why this can be satisfying and quite enjoyable. Um, what I like to do first is I like to separate my designs I can see right here that I have an Amtrak and Amtrak, 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 Amtrak. So I gotta, this is gonna be interesting. I gotta separate these two right here, line it up carefully so I make sure I don't cut one of them. Boom, boom. Don't wanna cut your design accidentally. So I'm gonna make a cut right here to separate the two. Logos. I'm gonna have an Amtrak right here. So I'm gonna come around right here. Then I have another one right here. So I'm gonna make a cut right here to separate the smaller one from this one. Boom. All right. You guys, peep what I did just now. Peep what I just did. All right, and you guys got close-ups, extra, extra close-ups of this. All right, so this is actually wasted vinyl right here. This should have been cut better. Let me just cut this just in case I want to make another small one like this. 
um, cause I like to keep some of my scraps sometimes, but even though I'm not really going to keep this probably I'll just cut this just in case never know. All right. So let me kind of show you guys why this can be satisfying to do. All right. So you got a piece like this, right? And the satisfying part of it is when the vinyl comes up so smoothly. So you grab, you take the hook, right? And you just dig into the, the vinyl like this. And you separate the top layer from the bottom layer. And you just start to peel. And when you peel, it's just, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's just satisfying as it separates. It just feels like, especially when it separates smoothly, it's just a satisfying feeling. That's why this can be like addictive to make shirts and stuff like that because the peeling is weird to explain. Guys that make shirts, comment in the comment section. Is this like, is this satisfying sometimes? Is this like euphoric in a way to like peel vinyl, especially when it peels smoothly? Or is it just me? Am I making this stuff up? I mean, it can be annoying when you like peel a whole lot and you have a whole lot of the same design to make. It can be a little bit annoying, but for the most part, when it peels nice and smooth like this, it's enjoyable, don't you think? Looks enjoyable. Does it look enjoyable, guys? What do you think? Leave in the comment section down below. Tell me if this looks enjoyable. Tell me if this is something that you can do. Not for hours on end, but that you can see yourself doing just to, you know what I mean? And you can probably enjoy it a little bit. What do you guys think? Am I making this stuff up or would this be fun? It's kind of like popping bubbles. All right, so you got that. Sit that off to the side right there, just the scraps, and you guys can see the reflective part of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you'll definitely see it when it's done. And you can see the Amtrak already coming out. So what you want to do is you want to get in between the letters. You see this A, you want to get the this part out. So you read that. Get that out. The R. You read that. Get that out. The other A, you read that, get that out, and there is a register mark in there. See this right now? So far, there's a aim track. There's a register mark on the bottom right here, this little R right here. Right here. It's hard for me to show this, but I'm gonna try to get that out and show you guys. Now, guys, I went ahead and I cut out four different ones. This one, one, two, three, four, and the small one right here. Now, these were made with different um, reflective vinyls. I did a tutorial on these different, the difference between these, the difference between these two reflective vinyls before. I'll put a link for the video right here. <coughs> Excuse me, of the video that I did comparing the two reflective vinyls. This is the one that I recommend. Um, I believe it's called Respusa or whatever, but I'll put the, I'll put the Respusa, I forget, but I'll put the link in the description as well as right here in the video. I think it's right here or it might be right here, but, um, and this is the, uh, Chinese brand. I forgot what it's called, but, um, I know how this vinyl acts, how this, um, reflective vinyl acts and I'm going to try to apply it a different way, um, so that it goes on better and it doesn't leave a sticky film because I don't know if you guys could tell but in this vinyl paper it seems like a lot of the reflective properties are still on the actual paper in the middle you still see some reflective stuff on here it's not like it's all, like it's almost all the reflective stuff is not peeled off but on this one you can see that it's very clear and all the reflective stuff is off I don't know if that's a good comparison, if you guys can see the difference. No, you can't on camera, I don't think. You can see the difference. Actually, you can right here, I think. But not a good example, but you guys will see. I'll try to show you guys briefly. All right, guys, the heat press is heated up, and we are going to go ahead and press the first shirt. This is uh, the shirt for my coworker. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and press the back of it first. This is the back 
portion of the shirt. He said he wants the big Amtrak logo on the back of the shirt, which is um whatever. It's different, but I think it looks better on the front. But he said he wanted it on the back, so that's what we're gonna do. So when you press a design on the back of a shirt, you want to actually get it in between the shoulders. So here's the shoulders right here. All right. So this you want to grab the two sides right here and line up the center. There's a center right there. There's a shoulder once again. And you want to get it right in the center of the shirt. Boom. Between the two shoulder blades. Grab the Amtrak logo. Put it on there. It's kind of small on the back but that's where he wanted it i think it should go a little higher so i'm going to put a little bit higher and in this case guys what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to uh open the shirt up and kind of like get the shirt to lay flat on the back which i don't typically do it like this don't typically do it like this at all but this is how I have to do it since he wants it on the back. Never done it like this before as a matter of fact, but now you got the shirt opened up. Now I can access the complete back and I can get it flat on the surface of the back right here. All right, so boom, it's centered. Making sure it's centered right there by eye. Give it a small press to get all the air out. Small press. Now I'm going to line this up on the back part of the shirt. In the center, making sure it's centered. Amtrak on the back. People always want to take my design and make it their own, but hey. That's what you're paying for, that's what you want, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it a little bit different. You think it'll look better like this? I personally don't, but that's what he wants. And that's what he's gonna get. Boom, all right. Press it down. For a few seconds. Actually, my Teflon is over there. I'm gonna wanna press it again, but Got the full 15 seconds down. It's gonna beep in a second. Bring it up and peel it off. Boom. Got the reflective Amtrak on there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get the Teflon. Let me go ahead and walk around here for a second, guys. Because my Teflon is all the way on the other side of this thing right here. All right. So, cover this up. Cover it up and press it one more time to make sure it's embedded into the material, as I like to say. And you can see what it was on is now, it's now off. Cool. Full 15 second press again with the Teflon on. And on there, not going anywhere ever on the back of that shirt. Take it off and show you guys the reflective properties of that. Can you guys see the reflectiveness? Not really, it's on the back of the shirt. Boom. All right, now he wants one on the front pocket. So now back over here, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. Put it back on the press. And the front pocket. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put this on, <coughs> on the heart side, which is the left side. So the left side will be the right side of this. All right. So we're lining this up. And here's the neck right here. 
and rule of thumb, four fingers down. That's going to be about right here. Four fingers down. We'll put the design logo right here. Let me press it out again just to get the air out, just to get the moisture out for a couple seconds. Boom. And on the breast, lining it up straight. Boom. Four fingers down will be about right there. Bring it up just a tad bit. Boom. Press it up. For a full 14 seconds. <coughs> full 15 seconds, rather. Peel it off. Back with the Teflon. One more time. All right. And there you have it. We got it on the breast pocket. And hold on, sorry about that. On the front, breast pocket, and on the back, boom, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a nice packaging for him. So now, guys, we're going to try something with the, with the um, Chinese stuff, all right? We're going to see how this works, all right? This is different. So uh, I'm going to try to press it differently than I normally do. Normally... When I press it down for the full 15 seconds, it also transfers. And this one I'm going to do on the front like I do my sh my regular shirts. When I do it for the full 15 seconds, it also transfers the remainder of that um, the uh, reflective that's on this this carrier sheet. And I don't want that, so I'm going to try to press it for about I don't know maybe five seconds and try to peel it off. And then press it again if I get a su successful peel. So let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see how this goes and if we can get a better press with this cheaper reflective vinyl. And if not, okay, got it nice and warmed up. All right, fingers crossed. All right, line it up. Lay it down, line it up nice and good, four fingers down, and let's get like a eight second press with this. Think drums roll, eight seconds. I'm gonna try to peel it up, and it is peeling up, but the see it's coming up with it, so it's gotta press longer. It's got to be a longer press than eight seconds because that's not working. Or maybe it's a cool peel. Hold on. Let me let it cool off for a little while. Nope. No, that's not good. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Messed up already, guys. This stuff is messed up. Ugh. I'll tell you guys, this stuff is whew, horrible stuff to work with. You'll, you'll see how messed up this turned out in a second. Few more seconds. I think it might be a cold peel, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool a little bit. But I can tell you guys, the design is already jacked up. This is horrible. It came out bad. Didn't come off. Well, the cold peel came off good actually. So this stuff actually isn't bad to work with. It's just it. This part of the design got butchered. Oh gosh, no saving that. Maybe I can, hold on. Try to get it off the shirt and press it back on. Nope, no saving that. It's messed up. All right, so uh, 
press it one more time. It's for work after all. It's not that bad. Just a different type of press. Different type of press, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the full 15 second press. And it didn't get messed up like I did, like it did at first, guys. So this is actually not bad material to work with like I initially thought in the first video. It's just that it's a different type of press. It's a cold peel. Cold peel on this one. So yeah, you can work with this stuff and you guys can see where it got messed up at in the corner right here. But overall, it's a clean transfer. Clean transfer, came out good. You know, so I could use this stuff. I could buy this uh, uh, cheap HTV transfer. All right, so um, yeah guys, the difference in quality though, you can see the difference in quality. Tell me which one is cleaner and brighter. See the difference in quality? This is the good stuff that I recommend, and this is the cheap Chinese knockoff brand. See the difference in quality, right? All right, that's it. Done with this, guys. So on the sidebar, this is what I do with the other vinyls that I didn't press yet. Got a little photo book right here, and I just lay them down for use on a later date. Got my East Saint Laurent joints, and YSL joints, and uh, yeah, for use on another date. I think you guys have seen me do this before, packaging up my items so somebody could feel like they bought something of value, you know, and they can feel good about their purchase and want to buy from me again. All right, so in this case, I want to show off this Amtrak logo right here. So I'm going to fold it a little bit differently than I normally fold it. Fold this sleeve like this. All right. I'm going to fold this inside like that. Try something different. Then I'm going to fold it inside like that. Flake this one first. Boom. Then go inside like that. Then do the same with this one. So he can actually see the uh, logo as his shirt is folded. Make sure it's the right width for the bag. All right. I think this needs to come out a little bit. Just a tad bit. Too much of a fold on that. And all this is necessary, guys, for presentation. I want people to feel like they money well spent. You know? Boom. The fold has to be perfect. The fold is imperative to what we're doing here. I wish there was a way. Hmm. Because now you can't see it. Hmm. Defeats the purpose of what I was trying to do. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's okay. So it don't matter. Maybe I should fold it inside out. Yeah, let me fold it inside out. Yeah. Not inside out, but the other side, because, you know, people want to see something. They kind of want to see what's going on. So, fold it backwards so you can kind of see the, the logo, the Amtrak logo. Yeah. I like that better. I like that better, Dub Nation. Boom. Boom. So you gotta put a little bit of thought into this stuff. Now you can see it. Links in the description if you guys want any of this stuff that I bought, that I, that I used to purchase 
to make this stuff. Links is in the description if you wanna buy a Cameo, if you wanna buy a heat press, if you wanna buy some of these mailer bags and all the stuff that I use, I'll put all the links in the description so you guys can do this stuff yourself. Also, I have a full playlist, how to make money selling t-shirts on my YouTube channel that you guys can use to make a little bit of money on the side like me, guys. Boom, pull it up, nice and good. And you got a product, it's the back of the shirt. Boom, extra large, done. All right, y'all, you see it, you see it, rocking the Dub Nation hat. Visit the website, alanaway.com. Get your Dub Nation hat right now while, while supplies last. So I'm outside right now, guys. This is somewhere that I don't typically shoot, but the weather is breaking and I'm tired of being inside. So we are going to be doing a lot more stuff outside, guys, because it feels, it just feels good being out here, guys. It just feels good. And um, I'm loving the weather. So, and this is a comfortable spot that I like to chill more. It's an area of my house I like to chill more at um a lot have friends out here talk and things of that nature maybe shoot some videos for you guys music videos for you guys so um just to give you guys a little sense of the surroundings this is it man we're gonna be out here i'm about to head out of here guys and get ready for this uh event my boy phil's birthday party so let me see what i'm gonna wear i'm gonna take you guys with me and you guys can meet some of the fellas and say happy birthday to phil um yeah that's it for now guys keep you guys posted um also i'd like to thank i'm not gonna put his name out there because i don't know if he wants his name to be out there but i have a a supporter who um subscribed to my paypal and i just want to tell you that i appreciate that um the donation to the, the monthly donation to the channel i really appreciate that a lot and it's going to go a long long way for the channel and um just that alone uh gave me so much motivation and encouragement um to continue doing what i'm doing because uh as of right now the size of the channel i'm really not reaping the benefits like that but i just do this solely because i'm gonna do it anyway because i enjoy doing it so i might as well just keep on doing it and put the content out there for you guys because i just love producing all right so yeah i want to thank you for that um let me know if you want your name out there i don't know exactly if you want me to put you out there but i'm, I'm not gonna do it as of right now out of respect all right guys so uh it's your boy signing off king Alan alexander a dub productions dub nation it's your boy i'm out catch y'all on the next one stay tuned later on the day peace so we are out here on Broad Street about to go into Phil's surprise party, but we're late and I think he's already in here. Is it this place right here? Yeah. County Blue? Okay, so there's a place right here and Chanel and I are about to go in, so let's see. <laughs> Listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby